like court cases just seem to me like that's your that's that that's that's an occupational hazard yes it gets a bit irritating but it's not i've only had two court cases for graph the rest has just been just random shit one of them i got Got arrested on a kidnapping charge. It was a bit of a weird, weird story, but Killer Killer Podcast Killer Killer Official dot com Instagram UK Frontline Beatbox Creative Killer Killer And we need to talk about world music and street culture Killer Killer Podcast Yes, people, here we are, Killer Killer Podcast once again. Big shout out to Graffiti Kings holding it down for us. Um <sighs> Switching on now, and what pleasure it is to have a gentleman that's travelled, and I like a travelling man, especially when they pass through the pod trap. New Zoe seven one three. How are you, brother? Inside. <laughs> Inside. Don't know. How are you, brother? Let me get yeah, man, I'm good. Dollars in for you, go. There we are. We're in business. Yeah, that's well, good. Yeah, all good, man. Good to see you. Yeah, I knew, bro. Yeah. Uh, you, you literally are on route somewhere, aren't you? Brother? Yeah, man. We're just travelling around the country, just. Just fuck all, really. <laughs> Causing fucking trouble, by the way. Yeah. Can you just show us that box of the of the bollocks that you guys are, are harboring right now? Big shout out to Chimp Inside the Place. Give us a shout out. Yo. My boy. Loads of uh, fucking edibles. It's a madness. Collect your stalk, collect your leaves, make some butter. This is this is some... Get fucked up. This is some... <laughs> this, <laughs> this is some, like, serious news to me. I'm I'm not really that way inclined, and... You guys are clearly on a on, on a on a road trip, a Beano. You're on a holiday trip from. Yeah. What's the plan? So, I mean, is this a graph expedition? Is this nah, a? Not really. I'm probably gonna do some dubs here and there. Yeah. Just only got one hand though. What happened? Oh, we don't talk about that. Well, I punched the door, broke my hand two places. Punched the door. Yeah, I've drove fifteen hundred miles and painted two festivals since I've done it, and now they put a cast on it, which is. Even more annoying. Yeah, well, that, that shit can... I, I, I fell off the stage once and uh, fractured my finger, and it's never been the same since. You get yeah. Your body kind of morphs it into the thing that you don't <laughs> want it to be, so, yeah, it's, your hand would be just like a spray can. <laughs> Literally. Like, it's already fucked already because I sliced my hand open on a pasta bowl once. On a, on a what? A pasta bowl. Pasta oh. dish smashed in the fucking sink. No sliced my hand open, took the top of my finger off. I was out of action where for does about this, a year. Where does this anger derive from, News? <laughs> childhood. <laughs> childhood. <laughs> That's childhood and people. I'm not, I'm not a fan of society. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you know, in meeting you for what, is, what feels like an eternity, I've, I've come to the conclusion that you're, you're uh, most definitely anti-establishment. Yeah. Fuck the system. Fuck the system. Definitely. Burn Babylon. Fuck the police. Fuck the system. Is that, is that what yeah. you want? Is that Power the, to the people. Power to the people. Um... Let's talk about this. Let's get into some shit. So, uh, Graphite, a tattooist from Midlands. Um, originally, I was born South London, Wimbledon, oh. and then oh. grew up in Brighton, and then moved to Dorset when I was 10, and then fully started Graph when I moved there, which was a bit of a weird one, because all there was was shitty fucking old trains and literally seaside town. Yeah, it is, yeah. I mean, I, I know the area well, you know, from uh, my, my neck of woods growing yeah. up, so I appreciate that. When you are the only graph writer in the village... Yeah, everyone knows who the fuck you are. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, 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 that's, that's, a, that's, that, that's a polite way And when way you're like 13, it. 14 and you're fucking smashing buses and trains and shit, they're like, yeah, we know who this kind of is. I'm yeah. Like, fuck. <laughs> is that, this is just an occupational hazard for anybody who lives in a small town or yeah. city, right? Um, was there anyone else that was rolling with you back in the day? That um, was he was rolling with me back then, but he wasn't really just for a laugh. Yeah. Yeah, it's not his passion. He's just for a laugh. He rolls in a different way now. Yeah. And I swear to God, he's, he's like his manager. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I am his guardian. Yeah. It's the Lone Ranger, man. My boy. He, he's the, he's the, he's the uh, um, enabler. Yeah. I'm the watcher. He's the watcher. He's the watcher. He's the watcher. Any issues, I'll go to things. him. Do you, uh, like... Does what you do as as a uh, as an attitude? Do you think that entirely reflects in your graph, it, or do, do you see it as one and the same? Is yeah, kind of. Yeah, I have got aggressive style. Like I've got a lot of aggression inside me. Yeah, and then I've just got weird styles as well. Just mm. like different fucking a different style for every letter. I like doing that because yeah, my head's noticed. just a mess. <laughs> no, I've noticed what I do take from your style um, and. By the way, my guy has got 
He's he's got books and books and book. He's made his own books. Yeah, I like looking at my shirt on paper and that instead of looking at it on a phone. So I he makes his own books. What the fuck? <laughs> I've never met anyone that uh, instead of black books, he's actually had them printed out and made. I got some sketches with me sketches. as well. Sketches. Are these on sale? These books. I do want to do something at some point. So I'll... these are books that you've made singular, one of one sort of. Yeah, yeah. You are. Too much. That's amazing. I just got up to 2020 part one. 2020 and part one. I've painted um, quite a few pieces since I've done that book. How many books have you made? There's 11 there. There's a, yeah. But yeah. then I've got, I made a couple more for like my commissions and my tattoo stuff. But I don't actually know where they are right now, to be honest, with all the moving around lately. I get it. It's a personal thing, isn't it? Yeah. When you, in your, in your wisdom and an ideal, would you say like, Passing these on to somebody as part of a legacy when you go. Yeah, that'd be for my son. Maybe you for your son. Yeah. You only you you got a kid. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sick. Okay. I've got loads of little Seth dubs in there. No way. And that's him. Hey, so there's a baby. Big man Seth. Hold tight. Uh, I love I love that you've done that. I love it, and it only heightens my curiosity. So, all right. So, where did it all begin? When did it all start? Um. Well, all my family, London, so growing up in Brighton, constantly travelling. Mm. It's just chrome, tags, everything. Mm. Like, and then going down to Brighton, colourful, mm. all the time, mm. all the way through the 90s. Mm. Like, there's people like Rosa, fucking, all the NT lot as well, like, end of the 90s, early thousands. Yeah, we were talking about NT before we jumped yeah, on that. That network like, terror is just... And then I've got a lot of family down Dorset as well, so while we moved down there. Mm. So travelling down there, seeing all the 54 crew up and stuff like that, early thousands, like... Mm. That's what really got me into it. Like, really? Yeah. Changed everything. Like seeing like people like Tyzer and stuff like that on trains back in the day, yeah. Rosa, all them lot, and then fucking all zombie and them, man. Like, mm. Do you think the world you created of your own, like, you know, let's get into it, the books, the tattoos, the, the graph, the, the weed, the travelling, the zero fucks, the, you know, it, is that, is these, are, they, are these all like safety mechanisms? Are these things that you kind of created to, mm. to house you, what you you feel as creative output and should be? I don't know, man. I don't really think about it like that, to be honest. It's your podcast. We're going to think about it. What do you reckon? <laughs> what's, your, what's, your, what's your take on it? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I just like being free. It's like doing whatever I like to do. Like if someone tells me to do something, I'm not going to fucking do it. But my granddad is exactly the same. Really? Tell him to do something, he won't fucking do it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> got to ask. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm, I've got that similar attitude. It's just in the genes. Is it? Yeah. Was well, your mum and dad like that as well? Um, kind of, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. What do they think when... I mean, like, you know, you... you, you My you're dad's in... just like, yeah, just do what you want. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. you, like, even in the first, like... I've, he gets a bit disappointed when I do things, but... Well, do, when you do me, things yeah. bad? Yeah. Always gets pissed off when the police are involved. Like, yeah. I've had quite a few court cases, a lot of arrests. How many court cases have you had? 17. 17? Yeah. Never been inside yet? No. Touch wood. Touch wood. I find, I find that intriguing in itself. Like, you clearly orbit around a star that is, it's not like, you kind of are low key. It, yeah. Yeah, like, I don't. I don't feel like there's a presence of, you know, I mean, mouth almighty or anything like that. You, nah. I think you're quite savvy to, to the uh, ducking and diving. Yeah, I'd like to be a bit of a ninja. Ninja. <laughs> then like, all right. Is that when all right, the BTP isn't? picked me up, they said there was no evidence of me at all. Like I was painting panels and in stations and all sorts. And yeah. There was no evidence of me. None. No. Nah, they just. Someone said my name. Really. Yeah. And it was just like. Yeah. Six months they took to find me. Because I'd moved house and that, and they, because uh, I get money off the job centre and stuff, because my my health, or my ADHD and stuff, mm -hmm. they uh, they stopped that, and then I had to change my dress, changed it on the Friday, mm. Monday morning, at my door. Really? Yeah, it was that quick. Wow. They wanted me bad. <laughs> really? How long ago was that? As well. Uh, Two thousand fourteen. That's quite yeah. a while ago. Time flies. Yeah, man. But it still feels like yesterday, I suppose. Yeah, it does. Did it freak you out when they came around? A little bit. I was just thinking, shit, what have I actually got in my flat? Cause <laughs> yeah, 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 totally. <laughs> I was around my girlfriend's the night before, and I was going back to mine to grab some shit, yeah. and uh, I'd left all my weed and stuff at hers, which was good. <laughs> 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 so fucking 
pop around to mine in the morning. I sat up on my door, literally really? waiting for me. Really? Yeah. What's the fear goes through your mind? I mean, me, man, I... I mean, I'd be just like... All I was thinking was, fucking... how the fuck have they found me? That was yeah. the first thing I thought. Like... But I, you know, and, and to, to what lengths did you do something that was so... You know what I mean? Yeah. Incriminating that they had to really, really, really find you like that. They said new, the new zone name did just over half a million pounds worth of damage on network rail property. And I got charged for 18 offences. 18? Because there's two new zones. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, shit. So I just got charged on what they had me. Really? What they had me on. Yeah. How old are you? 31 now. 31? Yeah. Um, you, you still in contact with your family and yep. everyone? I can feel... I, 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 can to, I can totally, like, understand that after a while, as your own person, you just got to... I guess you just... They just got to accept you for the way you are. And yeah. Shit. yeah. Yeah, they do. Yeah. All of them. All of them, yeah. I just don't talk to my mum. I haven't spoke to her in about 11 years and a half. Maybe. 11 years? Yeah. No speaking to mama? No. 11 years? Mm. Wow. Um, it's not nice about them. Uh, okay. Okay. So. Does that shape... Do you think that shapes your... I mean, so, oh, sorry, it's getting that, a bit... That's fucking... probably shaped my attitude quite a lot, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. She used to treat me like a cunt when I was young. Just because I'm different. Okay. And I just don't confine to rules. Right. Is there an audience of one... A lot of times when you're attacking something, do you think like there's a lot of aggression there that d derives from that relationship? Because I tell you, man, when Probably, I have a yeah. bad one, yeah? Probably, yeah. 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 <laughs> I can say. Reckon, yeah. Who do you like rolling with? Oh, big shout out to Nurks, by the way. Um, to Nurks. Yeah, big up to Nurks. Yeah. yeah, I've got my boy Clough up in Bristol. Mm. Um, my boy Zar, Worcester. And then got all the Bournemouth boys, we've got Robot. Got Robe, the one of the new ones. Mm. Um, he's mm. got a few little guys who roll with him. They're mm. smashing it at the moment. Mm. And then Demo from Southampton, he's a cool guy, smashes it. He's up everywhere, mm. all around Portsmouth and that. Smashing uh, it. Yeah, motorways he loves. Whole type funk case as well, Portsmouth yeah, represent. Big up. Yeah. Um, and then my boy Sumo as well. He's German. Mm. Does some serious stuff. I think I've seen this stuff. Look, this, you know, we get quite London. Centric, we get international on here, but rarely, which I love, you know, being from where I'm from originally, I love it we when people like bring up, yeah, well, I love it when people bring up writers from surrounding, you know, home counties or other other counties, you know, I like, I like to know what's out there outside of, you know, past zone six, you know, yeah, yeah, um. What, you know, what's your favourite county to, to, to go out painting? Because it sounds like you've got loads I love of connect. Birmingham. Birmingham. Like Midlands, man, that's the best place I've been painting. Hold tight, Corsa, come on. Yeah, Corsa, safe as fuck, man, and yeah. Tempo. And Big Crux, up. Big Up Crux. Zyna, Epic. Yeah. And then we've got Piz Off up there as well, mm. the Foz crew. Yeah. Um, Crux is my favourite right around here at the moment, bro. We've got Cons and Sane. Yeah. All them boys up there. Um, Birmingham, man. That is that scene is just for me. If I was to live anywhere outside of London, it'd be Birmingham. Yeah, I love that place. Yeah, I just that's love why the I'm vibe. Sort of basing myself up there at the moment. Yeah, yeah. I love the I love the metal scene there. I love the rock scene. You know, it's plus right. my little ones just moved up there as well. So, oh really? Yeah. Yeah. I oh, see. So you got to make that happen. You yeah. got to get the connect. Yeah, I feel that. Um, where else? Where, where else? Whatever. Where, where else are you? Because you're Midlands, right? Yeah, Midlands at the moment. Yeah. Um, is that where you tattoo? Uh, no, I haven't been tattooing in a little while. Yeah. It's getting in the way of my graph. It's getting in the way of the graph? Yeah. <laughs> I was either with my little one or doing designs of people or in the studio. Yeah. That was just driving me nuts. Yeah, yeah, back forth, back forth. Yeah, double. yeah I can relate. I just wasn't getting time to paint or draw or nothing, so I was just like, yeah, yeah. fuck this off for a bit. I'm just going to paint. It's, it's mad, isn't it? When you... When you assign yourself a, a task or a challenge, because you seem like a guy that, you know, likes to do things to excess. <laughs> and I'm thinking, like, I'm thinking, like, go when I do that home, shit, I? I just think to myself, yeah, when do, when do I have some time? When can I fill the well up and be creative? You know, when can I put that energy into the, the craft? Yeah. You know, because at, at the end of the day, these right. books don't exist without it. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, how many hours a day do you, you put in since you stopped tattooing and all that? How, how many hours a day do you put in 
on this writing game? Fuck knows. I don't really sketch with a pencil. I love biros. Like, pencils just piss me off. It's just biro sketches constantly. It's just destroy paper. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you know why? Because... You... I hate colouring in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's the same difference. If you're doing a pen straight off and you're hitting it up, you know, there's no outline. It's like you're doing it raw. And I guess that yeah. kind of perfects your, uh, your book a lot more, right? Yeah. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. A lot of versatility in these books as well, man. Like, I've just on closer inspection, you, you've got a lot of variable styles, characters too. Yeah, my Mr. Capone. Got one of the t-shirts on now. Yeah. Like you, yo, I mean. Yeah, my boy Nessick. Yeah. But yeah, I love the, I love the glitchy, that, some of the glitchy stuff you got going on, but then you, you flip yeah, it. Yeah, that came from some of the tattoo designs I was doing. I was doing like half pixelated tattoo designs from, yeah, yeah, I love some old shit. gaming stuff. Yeah, on some Tetris. I love playing PlayStation, Segas and all that shit. Yeah, 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 that's fire. That's fire. Uh, yeah, the old school shit. Yeah, man. Yeah. How, how old are you? 31. 31. Um, give us a graph story. Best graph story you've got for, for the people. Yeah, jump on in. Jump on in. <laughs> well, the first one that's just come to mind is when uh, one of the last weekends I spent with Loki before he passed. We gone and painted some plot, gone underneath the train, because it's dark one side lights on the other gone underneath we painted um me and other mate you finished fucking seen a driver walking up and down the station so it was just like yeah we go and watch the driver Loki was finishing up mm. um we're just there chilling by the fucking by this bridge and we see Loki coming underneath the train and it looks like he dived from out underneath what happened is he slipped both hands on the rail and it just blasted him straight off. No way. Like, I pulled him over the fence, and it was literally, like, holding a massive battery. And then, probably about an hour after that, we went to paint another train. What the motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> went and blazed the suit and done how some was more he? How was his? How was his nerve endings? He was all right. Like, his hands were a little bit burnt up and stuff, but... He was fine. When you touched, <laughs> him, did, when you touched him, did you feel the charge? Yeah, it was, he was just, like... And that was like a couple of minutes after he had been shocked off. Is that tobacco? I mean, this is in retrospect that we talk about this, but that's some scary. Don't try this at home, yeah. kids. Shit. Be careful with the tracks. Yeah. Is that something you can you you know you you emphasize that? Emphasize yeah. that. Yeah. If I if when I back in the day, if I heard of a new writer rolling around, I'd want him to take take him on tracks yeah. so I can show him like. Be careful. Yeah. Don't touch these lines. Like these lines are fine. Like, mm. watch for the lights. Yeah. There's a lot of health and safety involved. Yeah. Right. If you don't want to get fucking killed. That's basically. crazy. Or lose a limb or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, again, like, that. you hear stories. I mean... Yeah, serious stories. I've nearly been hit quite a few times by trains. Really? Yeah. yeah. <gasps> it's pretty nuts. Do you ever... Do you ever... I mean, I've asked people this before, and I don't think I really get a definitive answer because, you know, the camera's on this shit and that. But do you... Do you genuinely ever sit there at night and think to yourself, fuck, man, like, if I've got nine lives or I just shouldn't be here, I, I nearly died tonight? Nah, when I, when I was doing the news though back in the day, I was well, on still and stuff. Just didn't give a fuck. Really? Yeah. I'd just do one circle lap around the yard, check it out. If it's all good, straight in. Yeah. Or sometimes I'd just go up there. Or I'd just, sometimes I'd wake up in a bit of a bad mood in the morning, go and paint some day trains. Really? Yeah. Day trains? Yeah, or if it, I wake up in the morning and it would be raining, I'd be like, yeah, fuck it, I'm going to go and paint some still. Trackies don't like going out in the rain, do they? Does... I love. I painted more trains in the day than I did at night. <laughs> and rain or shine, you don't care? Yeah, rain or shine, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Rain's better. I don't care if it's running a little bit. I've got more time. I was thinking this. Like, the rain's quite a good cover, it's like a silencer. Yo. THTC, the UK's leading ethical streetwear label. Organically grown and ethically built garments from hemp, organic cotton, and other sustainable materials. 2019 is their 20th anniversary year. Join me with THTC as a Killer Keller podcast sponsor celebrating music, social activism, hemp, and street culture. THTC, eco fashion redefined since 1999. <laughs> Uh, how old are you at this time when you were going out then? Um, you know, it's like Daytimes, night, whatever's times. Well, that stopped in 2014. So, has it stopped then? But, um, 
but yeah, there was one time when I did go and drop my little one off at nursery and go down to the yard quickly and paint a quick model. <laughs> no fucking way. I did... Oh, I'll just put this closer to you. Save me a... Sort of out the edit later. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me sound. <laughs> um, bro, are this, is this here, this, all this business, is, it, is this a tranquilizer? Does it act as like a tranquilizer? Yeah, did you used to chill me out? Because it sounds to me, and I, you know, I'm, I'm no Dr. Luke or Dr. What's it, fucking Trisha or uh, Jeremy Kyle, but I, I, I do get the feeling, and I've not no experienced this with anybody, but then again, I, I feel like you're a very honest character. I, and I've, I've never experienced... Yeah, I'm just see what you get, innit? Like, yeah, yeah. I, I just, yeah, whatever. Like the I moment, don't really lie. You can see really it in your like eyes it. as well. You can see as a, as a person, he's extremely, you know... Just been blunt with you people, can see, do, You can see the soul, you know? Yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah, it's, it, it feels like uh, without these things... Without these me creative mechanisms or dependencies, I think you would really go off the rails, dude. Yeah, man, definitely. If I didn't have graph or I didn't have weed, I'd be dead or in jail. Dead or in jail, jail, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I've lived quite a crazy life. Done Does a lot of crazy shit. He's done a lot of crazy shit with me. <laughs> really? <laughs> how, do, how do you... How, how, when we talk about certain stuff... Did, did, is there anything that you're like, in retrospect, oh, yeah, actually? Or something you might say now that you think later on, actually, that was probably just, you know, five, ten years from now, you mm. say to yourself, oh, man, I was really like that. Is there anything that kind of goes through your mind now? Yeah, man. <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, I've done a lot of crazy shit when I was young. Give which me... I wouldn't think of doing right now. Really? But, but do you think, like, any of the things that are going on right now, right this second on the podcast, are you thinking to yourself, oh, you know what? When I'm 50 and I watch back on this shit, I'm going to think, God, oh boy, where is your head at? Like, but although it's an aid, although it's something that you need right now, mm. is it anything that you're saying stuff right now, you're thinking, oh, man, like, I wish I'd, like, rounded that off quicker and not... Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you, do you ever think of that? No, not really. Well, if it happens, happens, isn't it? Yeah. No regrets. No yeah. regrets. Hey, I respect yeah. it. I, just learn, no learn regrets. from no regrets. mistakes, XP. yeah. <laughs> XP. Yeah, experience. XP, right? yeah, come on. Uh, listen, I, I love it. I'm, I'm asking purely out of curiosity. Um, again, you know, on first meeting, you know, you can see right through the soul, you know. Um, what's, uh, what's the plan uh, moving forward? Like, you say you live each day as it comes. Yeah. Is there any forecast? Do, do you think any, anything further than, like, the next few hours? Is there anything more yeah. you think of? Well, where are we are going to sleep tonight? Because we're just on a mad camping mission. Just camp where the fuck we like. You're currently on your way. This is, this is a pit stop, you know what I mean? Fuck M&S services. He's currently en route to Scotland, to Loch Ness. Yeah, we're going to go and check out Ness, yeah, aren't it? Loch Ness is, like, the main route we're going to. Loch Ness is the main route you're going to, see. Yeah. See? So, <laughs> it's so madness. Like, a couple more court cases coming up, so I need to fuck about. <laughs> really, really, you, like court cases just to me, seem to me like that's your that's that that's that's an occupational hazard. Yes, it gets a bit irritating, but it's not. I've only had two court cases for graph. The rest has just been just random shit. What like weed and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, a lot of weed. A lot of like, weed. One of them, I got. Got arrested on a kidnapping charge. It was a bit of a weird, weird story, but we didn't kidnap anyone in it. It was, uh, it's just a little, yeah. It's a long story, basically. Oh, man, is this the cottage? Yeah. Cottage and uh, please, please come turn up in my house. And uh, my boy Chimps there. He's literally just sparked a zoo. He's working at a fucking uh, a school with this, um, what school was it? Yeah, we can't talk oh, about yeah, that. He was working at something anyway, and uh, fucking. Yeah, they came and arrested us. He literally just sparked up a zoo. Yeah, they come knocked on my door. Yeah. Fucking stormed the place, guns and that. Found ten ounces upstairs. Like, weren't bagged up enough. He was just laid out. That's the last of their thoughts. They weren't yeah. phased about that, right? Not really. And then, um, yeah, they held us for 36 hours with no phone call. He missed work for two days. 
Nearly got fired. Yeah, can you imagine? I'm like, basically, <laughs> I go around his house just to have a smoke, and, and I'm sat there with my lounge, and we smoke this one drink. My boy was living with, he was doing stuff with, he was fucking out of the gym, innit? Yeah, <laughs> oh, he was just casual. I'm just going around, smoke a joint, and I hear this knock on the door, proper fud, bang, 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 and as soon as you hear the knock alone, I knew it was something really dodgy, and I look at him across the lounge, and I was like, mate, that's not right. And he gets up, and he's like, gassed. And he's like got a joint in his mouth and <laughs> picks up a machete, which is a souvenir novelty, but he picks it up for defence, obviously. Walks to the door with his like fucking machete in one hand, a joint in the other, swings the door open, and I just see the jackets. It's two two cops just stood there, two policemen. I slid the sh- and machete out and the closed the door behind me. Steps forward towards him, chucks the joint behind him on the floor in front of him, he chucks the machete on the floor behind him, he steps out and shuts the door. So I know at this moment he's going. He's trying to distract him and buy time for me to like clean up and sort out the, for them to come in. So I like chuck the machete under the sofa. Chuck, you know, I'm grabbing like anything I can see and I'm, I'm moving it and hiding it. Next step for me is I know they're not going anywhere, so I pack my rucksack. I grab everything I can: bags of weed, and bags of this, and bags of that. I'm chucking it all in my rucksack. Zip it up. I'm going out the back. Go to the kitchen. Everything's locked, the windows are locked, the doors are locked. It's a round of the blaze as well. The keys are nowhere to, I'm searching the cupboards, I'm going mad, because I know the clock's against me. Like, mm. These guys are coming in and they don't know I'm here, and I know he's not going to say I'm here. So I know if I can get out with that rucksack, things are sweet. So I'm searching, I can't find the keys. So I go upstairs, and I can find one window open, but the drops, it's a good like 14 foot drop from there onto concrete, and I just thought I can't risk it. If I bust my ankle, mm. I'm stuck with the bag down there. At that point, I gave up. I turned around and I'm fucked. So I walk down the stairs, I sit down on the sofa, I chop the bag down, pick the joint up, light it, and just sit on the sofa and smoke the joint and wait for him to come. I know I can't escape, and I know I'm getting done for it with him anyway, so I might as well enjoy this last joint. So I'm smoking, it's sure enough the door swings open and he walks in cuffed and they walk in and they just look at me and I'm like, just do what you gotta do. They start looking around, it takes them about five minutes to get enough to, to properly search the place. And then I hear one of them going up the stairs. I hear and I'm thinking, shit, this is about to get really serious now. And all I hear is the creak of the hatch. It's like a proper creak noise and that's the hatch gone. He's up in the attic and there's a whole like half a grow set up up there. <laughs> and that's it. You hear him shout down some things to his mate. His mate gets on the radio. Next minute you know there's like fucking 20 police. There's dogs. There's everything. The whole house is just full. Like they've cuffed me. They've taken our phones. At this point as well, I was supposed to go home like 20 minutes ago and we weren't allowed to use our mobiles because of the nature of it. We weren't, they just arrested us, took us. I think it was about 20 hours went by with nothing, no no rights, no phone. No, nothing. Anymore. Like no one knew where we were. So 36 hours in there on that one. Yeah, and then finally we got to speak to someone and that was to be told we were going to have an interview with, was it the CID or something yeah. like that? Yeah later on and then yeah about another yeah, some crazy six hours went by <laughs> or four hours it was about, it was around 24 a nice solid 24 i think before my interview and then i sat down with they asked me if i wanted a solicitor if i wanted a solicitor it was another three hours i was so desperate to get out of there at this point i'd counted every fucking every single um square tile in this cell twice i was just pulling my head in i had nothing to do i spent the whole time punching and kicking the door yeah the whole <laughs> night as well this was the mad thing in there i'm sat there the whole night and all i could hear echoing throughout the entire cell block was him i was just fly kicking the door the door and screaming they gave me an extra t-shirt so i wrapped my fuck i've ripped it and i've wrapped my hands up yeah, and they gave me plimp cells as well so i could fucking go ham on the door Really then they ended up putting me in the yard for the rest of the, the rest of the time I was there. Um, <laughs> for those of you just joining us, <laughs> um, that sounds like something out of like a movie. Like, how much of this? How much of this do you think you can take before it's like, yo? I'm tapping out, man. Well, this shit's I, fucking too full on. The end of it. I only got charged fifteen pound for having ten ounces of weed in court. <laughs> yeah, but even battering your hands trying to kick in a door that's probably opens and shuts the other way, and you, 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 your boy's there like 
what the fuck? And it's all. I just go in a bit of a mad when I go into a peace station. Um, I have to tell them straight when I see them. I have no respect for you, mate. You're just a bully with a badge, and that's just how it's going to be. Mm, mm, mm. Um, just honest with them, straight. Do you do you think like the levels in which you guys um, smoke? I mean, that, that, there's 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 a lot of paranoia that comes into play. Do you think some of this is spider senses? Harness it, use it. Really? Yeah. So if, you're you know, <laughs> if you're sitting there with a machete, if you're sitting in a with a machete, I'm, I'm thinking like, oh, that's because like a couple of weeks before, some fucking idiot climbed through my window with a meat cleaver and sliced my mate up. What? <laughs> yeah. Where did this come from? Yeah, but you are, that's a whole other story. Yeah, that's a whole other but story. Quickly on what you were saying there, you are right. Uh, come a little bit closer. You won't. Don't have to be in the camera. Okay. But come a little closer so people can hear you. Go on. <laughs> yeah, just to quickly off what you were saying, you are right about the smoking and the paranoia when you do anything like this. Mm. Even with doing nothing, you can experience it. But what, what you've got to realise is paranoia is pretty much just overthinking something, but then on top of the overthinking about it, worrying about it. So you, if you can use it to your advantage, which we do, you the take senses. the overthinking, but then you fuck off the worry... And therefore, instead of the paranoia, you end up with just being very aware of a lot of things. And although we've had a lot of these incidents he talks about, we've had a lot of very close calls. Where oh, yeah, it's fucking loads. Through, like, skin <laughs> of our teeth. And we've got a few mad ones. The train one, if you go back to the trains, at some point, where we, that fucking, that experience, you know, we had to get out the train, mm. but we were trapped on it. The biggest adrenaline rush I've ever had in my life. And we can tell that one a bit, but that was crazy. But yeah... Paranoia, overthinking, fuck the worry off, and you've got strength instead of a weakness. Oh, I like that. No, I like that. That actually can be applicable to any medium on any op- any thing you're doing in it's life. It's all in your head. It's all in your head. Sometimes we can head. overthink shit, can't we? Mm. And to, well, to what gain? What gain? Because ultimately, your decision not to be paranoid will positively affect yeah. the next steps, everything you do. Oh, I really feel that. Um, but what's that film with Johnny Depp in the one with the glasses and the but and the? This, you know the film I'm talking about, right? That's what you were talking about. Fear and loathing. This is you two. It's looking fear and loathing <laughs> all day. We were driving down the road last night, eating some edibles and that, and he was like, "Yeah, this is just like fear and loathing, isn't it?" Yeah, it's fucking fear and loathing, bro. <laughs> um, uh, look, I can I can see I can see uh, conversation development taking a turn of the uh, of the high kind, and um, do, do you do, does that. Does this side and that side coexist? Like, do you do you feel like, like when I get right when I get drunk, right? I get drunk to to to, to depletion, right? And I feel like I completed, it. and then all of a sudden the world works around me, and okay, apart from a sleep, which I'm desperately trying not yeah. to do because when you're drunk, you're drunk, and you just keep on going till till crash, right? Sometimes you are lucky enough to wake up. If you're in the mood to get drunk, you wake up and you're still kind of a little bit hungover so you go for a hair or a dog or something like that. Your world really is different. Your world is different in those examples. And it's, it's such a... It's a fun, carefree, no fucking messing, no expense spared. Is this your lives? Is this your lives? Yeah, this is much. This is life. And, it, and graph... Falls hand in hand with that. There's yeah, man, that's, that's my life. So this is chill, and the graph is the adrenaline. Yeah. So this well, year, I, I like chilling and, and painting. Do you like chilling and painting? Yeah, I've been doing that a lot more since since I got arrested for the news. Eh? Really? Like I put my I put a lot more effort into walls. Put Where walls. before I'd paint, I paint a wall in about half hour, forty five minutes. Yeah. And now I take my time. Yeah, and enjoy it just as much. Yeah. yeah. Nurks is a great example of someone that you know. I oh, bet he takes the piss. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He got the, he's got walls on lock, though. The amount of times I've left him. Just, really? Yeah, I'm not waiting, mate. <laughs> really? Yeah, he does take his time, right? Like, yeah. that impression. 45 minutes for a wall. Yeah, easy done. Full colour? Yeah. Used to do trains full colour in about five, ten minutes. Really? Really? Wow. It's back in the day. See? Some legacy shit right here, baby. We're, deep, we're going deep on this one. It's all about how you paint. Yeah. It's all about how you paint, right? Outline, fill, outline, fill. That's outline, the nature fill, of it. Outline, fill. Hmm? And then when you do, and then do your, your background. Yeah. Then when you outline your piece, do your blocks on each letter before you outline the next one. 
and then you don't have to go back over it. Oh! So you're working like a printer. That can apply on walls and everything, yeah. right? Oh, see, that's a good tip for you writers out there, just getting into the game. Anything you, more you'd like to add, sir, to your podcast? Because, oh my God, we've covered some fucking areas. Is there anything else you would like to add? I don't know. Any shout-outs? Any shout-outs you'd like to give? Shout-outs to the KFO lot. Shout-outs to all the London lot. Mm -hmm. uh, Murder Rees, TDO crew, um, the SMC lot. Hold tight, Rees, all day, all day. Um, my G. Hold tight, ditto. Oh, hold tight, Ditto, yeah. Yeah, Ditto's cool. Um, Cosa, take. All day. And then we got all my net boy, Nessic, Woozy, uh -huh. um, Nader. Um, the story about how GM came around was with Nader. He's up in Bristol now. For real? Yeah, yeah. Hold on, my Bristol Massive, all day. Love Bristol too. Um, yeah, I said Nessic, Woozy, Robe, Zar, uh, Veza, DBK, all the 2FG lot. Foz crew, um, all the NKA, S -A -S -A -S -M. Oh, I can't think of any more right now, to be honest. You need to get these motherfuckers <laughs> published. It's too many. You need to get these motherfuckers yeah, published. Yeah, I've got my hard drive on that with me. Hopefully when I'm from Scotland, seeing, uh, seeing the, some of the BNK lot. This is like... Hold tight BNK as well. Um, yeah, it's a Nuzo713 on Instagram. Um, he's got maps, he's got the whole works, just like all the fucking level pedigree artists and acts that come through. He's fully operational. Like doing some neon bits creativity. as well. Creativity. It's a lot of fun. That's again? The neon bits. Oh, yeah, for real. Fun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, look. All day, bro. All day, I've got nothing but love for you. Safe as fuck, bro. You know what I mean? I love it. News 713 inside the place. Big Thank up. you very much, brother. The Killer Killer Podcast strikes again with a vengeance. Lean, mean, and on the street scene, all right? Yeah, that's it. Um, sharing is caring, all right? So do share. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Don't sleep on this one. Super important. Hey, yo, we're out. We've got the next one. We've got the next one. It's a podcast trap house, all right? Stay lucky, people. Big love. Inside. Bruce.